Todd Brown with your Being Truly Well Minutes for today. And yesterday, as I felt led by the universe to spend some time um, listening to Andy Andrews' Seven Decisions, I um, had it on my iPod and I went through it and I was listening to it. Um, also watched uh, some stories of the Visionary Series um, by Oprah Winfrey that she did uh, with James Cameron. And I watched Tyler Perry's. I had also seen in the past Will I Am's and, um, and also Tom Ford. And um, it was a blessed day. It was a good day to recharge batteries, to take the next step for myself and build. The one thing that Andy Anders talks about in there is to always learn from many sources, to um, always allow influences to come into your life that are positive, um, mentors, so to speak. And uh, a couple things he talked about in there, and I'm not going to plagiarize his work, but uh, one thing he talked about is have a board of directors, not a paid board of directors. He said, find a person that you admire, respect, or who succeeded in an area that you want to be successful in, and read about them, study them. If, they, if they're local, uh, hang around with them, have lunch with them. Um, you don't have to even tell them that they're on your board of directors. But look to them as an example of how to get where you want to get. And uh, make an art of study and knowing them and learning what they have did. Uh, which was, you know, in line with Think and Grow Rich as well. And uh, I, I'm glad I got reminded of that. Two other things that he talked about that I really find remarkable. <clears throat> is uh, in, in the seven decisions, there's a couple of them that really struck home really hard. Uh, one of them is, you must persist without exception. Hear that again. You must persist without exception. It's easy to persist and then give up when it seems like, eh, you know what, this isn't working, ditch it. See, a lot of people, you know, if we think of Thomas Edison, for example, what if he gave up around 200 or 300 different filaments to use in the light bulb? We would be in darkness and have candles. <laughs> you know, and, and it's very important that we um, take the next step when it comes to uh, being persistent and not give up on what we know to be true or embryonic truth. He doesn't use the term embryonic truth, that's mine. And <clears throat> the other thing he talked about, of course, is to be a person of action. Love that. <laughs> Always say that myself, that you know you have to take action steps literally to vibrate and come closer to um, what your goal is for your life. Um, and to see it as if it's already accomplished. And I've done that in mine. I have a deep vision for where I'm heading in my life. And I look forward to it becoming, even now, reality. And, you know, I've, I've been blessed so much thinking of people <clears throat> in my life who have been a good influence on me. Um, the highest, of course, being my father. Um, the wonderful man he is. <laughs> You know, he is such a man of such depth, deep passion and love for for others. And um, But he's also my lesson, my cautionary tale to learn, is to allow to receive love. Um, it's one of my dad's flaws, is that he doesn't let enough people just love him. And uh, his, like I said before, his one line is that, don't worry about me. And, uh, of course, I do. And I'm concerned about him, and I love him, and I hope that his appointment today for his eye doctor, um, that he's able to see out of that eye after the second surgery. And, you know, I just look at other people that have been there for me. Uh, pastor Roy Roberts out in South Dakota, amazing pastor, truly loves God. And I remember sitting at his home, on a Wednesday prayer service, and we, he was just playing the guitar, and we were singing from our inner spirits. And I do believe we do have a spirit, 
those of you that don't believe in that, that's fine. But there's a universe out there. <laughs> Something's making your heart beat. It's a spirit within you. And I remember going into what some people call slain in the spirit, where you just lay back, and it's as if you are with the presence of the divine. And it was literally an hour that we were in this place and in this state. And I remember someone knocking at the door of his house where we were. And it felt like we were there just five minutes, but it had been an hour. And I felt rejuvenated from being in the presence of the divine. It was literally my first place, first time ever of experiencing <clears throat> true meditational prayer, whatever you want to call it, uh, connection to the divine within myself. And uh, the spirit of God, whatever you'd love to call it. And I, I th I'm thankful to God for Pastor Roy. Um, he still lives in Rapid City again. And his wife Susan, such a blessed, wonderful woman of God. I'm thankful for Connie and uh, her laughter and joy. And she still lives out in South Dakota. Just a wonderful person who smile can literally brighten the whole world. And I'm so thankful for other examples of great joy and love that are in my life. Um, I, I can't say enough about um, Karen Warfield. She is my ex-sister-in-law um, who lives in Texas and is someone who my times that I got to spend with her brought me great joy, laughter, levity, but also a feeling of a person with deep purpose. And I always enjoyed her great spirit about her. And maybe it's because she's part Indian and also part Russian. And uh, I've always enjoyed Russian people <laughs> throughout my life. But the deep connection that I feel with Karen, we were born literally four days apart. We're both about to become 50. <laughs> and uh, in her in March and me in April. Uh, but four days difference. And, you know, it's amazing to me, uh, beyond anything else, that... Um, she has a true love and, and the, that she is into um, the healing arts, into writing, which um, truly is something that I gravitate toward as well, to writing and to helping people through and understand the connection to the greater uh, universe as a whole. Divinity, if you call it that, or the universe as a whole. Or the machine, if you're an atheist. And I'm just so blessed for all those wonderful people and examples who I consider to be on my board of directors of living authentically in their lives. And, you know, I'm just so blessed to have examples like that in my life. And I'm sure you have some like that in yours. And if not, you need to widen your circle of friends. Um, you know, I think of being a person of action that Andy Andrews talked about of Joshua Chamberlain and how he led the 23rd Maine in Gettysburg. And literally they were out of bullets. They had no ammunition left. And he literally was going to have a choice that he had to make. Either charge with no bullets and just use the bayonets or to retreat. And if he retreated, we wouldn't have the United States that we have today. Again, I encourage you to go out and get Andy Andrews' Seven Decisions. It's on um, a CD. It's an audio series. And he's a, he's a truly enlightened speaker. And I, I, he's a blessing to me. He's on my board of directors for sure. Um, and he talks about how Joshua Chamberlain had even gotten a bullet in his belt buckle. When he got shot, and he thought, oh, this could be it. And he got hit in the belt buckle. <laughs> and then his men had no ammunition. 
literally. And they were there at, at uh, a little round top in Gettysburg, defending the end line. And if they got through, they got into Gettysburg, and, you know, the United States would truly be broken up. And, and like he says in the video audio series, it would be like Europe. We would have many states instead of having a country. And we would have been there to stop Hitler, to help the Europeans stop Hitler. And, you know, so many things would not have happened if Joshua Chamberlain had not said, hook the base of bayonets and charge. Without ammunition, they defeated the enemy by being bold and by taking action. And uh, I, I love Joshua Chamberlain. And after reading The Seven Decisions, um, hearing that a long time ago and then hearing it again yesterday and reading The Traveler's Gift which good book and you should look at that one up uh, by Andy Andrews excellent book I recommend it highly um, in there I got inspired to go to Gettysburg and to see where they fought where the Maine had fought where this battle had taken place and it was glorious to see um, because against all odds it just required a person to truly believe and take action no matter what. Um, it's amazing. So, in my life, I'm learning to truly become wise, learn from the past, not cling to it, not own the mistakes of it, learn from them so that I can then reprogram my mind in a positive way. Remember we talked about the paradigm so that I can move forward without programming the past, but learning from it to move forward in true wisdom. I'm also blessed to have wonderful friends in my life. Um, Cody, I love you so much. You bring love and light to me, and uh, you know we interact on messages on Facebook, and you truly bring love and light to my path. And I don't think I tell you that enough. But I love you. And Nick, my wonderful pseudo son, down in Texas, you know, you truly are living what we've been talking about in this series and turning it to reality. That's an inspiration to me. You, my son, are on my board of directors. So thank you for that. And I'm just so grateful for all the wonderful people that I've known throughout the years. Um, and I look forward with great anticipation to the next chapter that I'm about to unfold with great joy. And I know that if you take the time to invest in yourself, not only financially, <laughs> but invest in yourself spiritually and emotionally, in looking within to find your true ground of truth and to get in touch with it because like it or not tomorrow is coming yep I said it <laughs> sorry didn't spoiler alerts tomorrow's coming what difference is there going to be between today and tomorrow and next week we're not guaranteed tomorrow next week or even the next day beyond that. We don't know when our lives will be over. It's tragic. A lot of people die in car accidents. A lot of people die, you know, from fires. Andy Andrews talks about one thing that I firmly believe, and that's that each one of us has something that we are here to accomplish, their mission. He talked about Joshua Chamberlain. And you know, he said that he would not die until he was done what he had to do. And I've always believed that, that a child who dies in childbirth affects the family and has accomplished its mission by touching that family from that experience. And yes, there are tragic accidents that happen. But wonderful things can come from it. You may not see it at the time, but it can. 
And it is truly a blessing when you can see that we're here for a time and we're here for a purpose. Find yours today. Live it. Live your truth. Unfold what you are here to do. Not so that you can come to the end of it and be done, but so that you can truly see the magic of why you're here. Who am I? Why am I here? Where did I come from and where am I going? Remember we talked about those questions from Stanislavski. They resonate even into today. So I have an interview today at 10 a.m. on the phone. I'm looking forward to it. Still waiting to hear back on some other ones I had in the past. We're coming up on Christmas. And what I want for Christmas is a job offer. <laughs> and I want to plan to move to that new location. And I desire it above all other things. So I want you to start desiring and believing for yourself. Take action steps to make things happen. I don't seek out these companies and ask them for interviews and get the interview. Then I'll never get the job. Will I? What's holding you back? What action steps can you take? You know, I, I have a wonderful, wonderful person I grew up with. And it's been a month that she hasn't been smoking. And I read that on your status. Awesome. Congratulations. Teresa, I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. You're taking changes in your life for the better. For your children, for your family, for you. Believe that you can accomplish something, and you can. This is Ron Brown. Be truly well. Seriously. Be truly well. Think on those words. What does that really mean for you? Have a great day.